Hey guys, it's Kara here, and I am back, and tonight we're going to make a little whoopee up in here. And by that, I mean we're going to make some whoopee pies. These are bomb diggity. They are awesome. Quick recipe. We've got a two-step process tonight. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven around 350, and then what we're going to do is start on the cake part of our whoopee pies. So first thing we're going to do is take some oat flour, or if you don't have oat flour and you have some oats, which I think most people have oats on hand, you can just grind those up if you have a blender. We're gonna use one fourth a cup of oat flour, or any other kind of flour you guys like. Put that in there. And these are gonna be chocolate whoopie pies, so um, we're gonna do two tablespoons, and I am gonna use I'm gonna drop that first, and then we're gonna use the dark. I like the dark, the special dark better because it gives products just more of that deeper chocolate flavor, um, but you can use the regular cocoa if you like. Two tablespoons of that. Okay. Next, we're gonna use our MTS uh, whey and chocolate. But if you guys have no bake on hand, that would also taste delicious with this recipe. You could play around with it. Re oven's ready. Really use any protein you like. I'm going to use the chocolate. Don't forget to go to Tiger Fitness and use my link. Discount code Kara for 5% off. One full scoop of that into our batter. So these are going to be a high protein whoopie pie. They are extremely macro friendly. You'll be amazed. Okay, next we're gonna use one third teaspoon of baking soda. All right, easy enough. We're gonna do a little dash of salt in there, optional, but it helps bring out those flavors in baking. We're gonna use one whole large egg next. Don't worry, these are gonna be pretty low in fat, so you're gonna be all right having that egg yolk in there. Sweetener of choice. You guys know I like to use Splenda. I'm going to do two tablespoons of Splenda. And you might want to taste test your batter before you put your cookies in the oven. I usually take a little taste um, just to see how sweet it is, if you want to add a little more sweetener or not. Okay, next I'm going to add one tablespoon of coconut oil. I have it already melted in my bowl. Um, if you don't have coconut oil, you can use any other type of oil you like. I'm just gonna dump that right in there. Next up, unsweetened, no sugar added applesauce. Applesauce and pumpkin are great to have on hand. Three tablespoons, not sure if I already said that. Um, great to have on hand for baking. Um, I did add the coconut oil, but if you didn't want to add oil at all, you'd be okay not to and just using the applesauce. You might want to increase it to four tablespoons if not. Okay, and then next thing I'm going to do is just add a couple tablespoons of water and we should be good to go to mix this up. Perfect. Okay. Get my batter there. Just going to mix this all up good. All right, so once you have your cookie batter all mixed up, what you're gonna wanna do, if you have a whoopie pie uh, pan on hand, that's awesome, use that. If you have a jumbo muffin pan, you could use that, and this is gonna fill six um, jumbo muffin tins. I don't have either of those, so I'm just gonna use a regular um, baking sheet. So this is gonna make a total of three whoopie pies, so what you're gonna wanna do is I usually just use one of the measuring cups I use to measure out my ingredients. And you're going to scoop on six cookies. Then we're going to put these in the oven for about eight to ten minutes. You're going to want to stay close by and watch these because you definitely don't want to overcook them. You want to re retain that, that moisture and the softness of the cookies. So don't go too far. Um, we're going to get these in the oven and then we're going to get our filling made. Okay, so while your cookies are in the oven baking, we can go ahead and make your protein frosting for the inside. We're gonna do 
a vanilla frosting. So the first thing I'm going to add is the Philadelphia whipped cream cheese. Um, you could do fat-free cream cheese if you want, or you could even do like a ricotta cheese or a fat-free ricotta. Um, this recipe is not that high in fat though, so having a little bit of fat from the whipped cream cheese isn't that harmful. So one third cup of that, you're just going to dump that into a bowl. Um, you could also use Greek yogurt too, but it doesn't get as like thick and fluffy, which is kind of the point of whoopie pies to have it like nice and fluffy. So um, next we're going to add one scoop of the vanilla MTS whey. Or if you want it to do like a chocolate peanut butter, you could do the peanut butter fluff. Um, it's pretty versatile depending on what flavor you want. So we're going to do one full scoop of that. I'm going to add one tablespoon of my Splenda. And again, take a little taste of it and sweeten it to your sweetness of liking. And next, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla bean extract, or if you have vanilla extract on hand, that works just as good. Ooh, that's on there tight. Got to use those gains to open that one up. Okay, and I'm just going to use a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that all up. All right, so when you've mixed up all your frosting, it's going to kind of be nice and thick and fluffy like that if you use the, the whipped cream cheese. And I let my cookies cool on a cooling rack for a little bit before. You want to let them cool before you go ahead and ice them or else it's going to melt and get all weird. So you want your cookies to kind of be the same size if you can help it when you're, um, before you put them in the oven so that it's a little bit easier to, you know, put, put them together. So let's go ahead and ice one. They come out nice and big, which I love. I'm just gonna ice it with this, I guess that works. I'm just gonna flip it over and ice the inside of that bad boy. Probably easier to use with a knife, but it will make it work. There you go. I want it nice and thick. Squeezing it together. Voila, how amazing is that little whoopie pie? You could add more icing if you want. Um, the nutritionals I'm gonna give you is gonna be based on the amounts that I used today. I'll do a little taste test of my little sandwich here. I was like too good to be true right now. That's really good. I'm gonna take another nibble. <laughs> Give this video a like. Try it out. Super easy recipe. Guilt free. Information below. That's about it, guys, because making whoopie pies, it's not a game.